Hello guys and welcome to another update of Primordial VR. In this update we will be looking at the new hunger and forest system. The previous one was rather negative and you always had to eat something to survive. With this new system you won't die if you don't eat. Instead you will get bonus stats if you eat different foods. This is how the new stats tab works. We have the health and stamina but we have these grey bars underneath as well. The grey bars show you how much value you get from the foods. For example this apple gives you health and stamina. Let's try it out. As you can see, the apple boosts your health by 10 and stamina by 30. It's a quite good apple. Each food has its own duration. If I remember correctly, the apple has 800 seconds, which is plenty to go around. Let's now cook this hair meat and see how much it gives. We can now white fire like the big boys. With a quop. It's cooked, let's test it out. As you can see, it gives a lot more HP than stamina. When you mix together vegetables and meat, there's quite a good proportion of HP and stamina. I have currently set the limit to be only three foods. So you can mix a vegetable, a meat and some other food that you need. For example, if you're going fighting, then you can grab two meat pieces and one vegetable. You can't consume the same type of food. For example, I wouldn't be able to eat an apple now. And I can't because I've already eaten one. But I can eat an onion. As you can see, I'm in survival mode now and uh, HP and stamina slowly regenerate over time. Each food has half-life, which is not by valve, half of the duration. For example, the apple has 800 seconds. When we reach 400 seconds for the apple, it will turn half grey and you can consume another apple. The apple's half-life has been reached and now I can consume another apple. So you may be thinking what happens with the water. Well, the water will increase stamina and in the next realm it will boost your mana as well. I will be introducing more drinks that will boost your mana more. Here is one sneaky update. I finally made it that when you break a build, it drops the items that were used. For example, the cooking station will drop branches, two branches to be exact. The campfire will drop only three stones because that's half of what was required to make it. If the blueprint isn't complete yet, it will drop all items included. This is all for today's video, see you in the next one.